briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1962 case of Payne v. S.S. Nabob, the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit upheld a lower court's decision to exclude evidence not listed in the pretrial memorandum. At the core of the case was the importance of trial judges' authority to rule on admissible evidence and the responsibility of attorneys to fully and fairly disclose their views on the trial's real issues. The libelant in the case, an admiralty personal injury suit, argued during the trial that improper loading led to his injuries. Although the pretrial memorandum deemed the winch condition a crucial aspect of the case, the libelant's attorney introduced a new claim regarding loading mishandling during trial. The stevedore employer objected to this argument, as it was not included in the pretrial memorandum. The lower court ruled in favor of the employer, disallowing two witnesses from testifying due to their absence from the pretrial memorandum. On appeal, the libellant's attorney argued that the Eastern District Standing Order of 1958 did not apply to this case. However, the appellate court upheld the lower court's ruling, noting that the standing order had been used in admiralty practice since its adoption in 1958 and reaffirmed the importance of the pretrial system's integrity. Ultimately, the court determined that the trial judge properly denied the libelant's motion to amend the pretrial memorandum and motion for continuance. The appellant was responsible for stating all allegations and witness testimony during the pretrial stage, and failing to do so led to the exclusion of evidence during the trial. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.